There are times when you may want to move the storage group path from where the files are currently located over to another location. For example, if we expand out server configuration and we select mailbox, we remember that automatically the first storage group is created for us and the mailbox database was also created for us when we did the installation. The problem is that those files are located on the C drive, which is our operating system drive, as well as the drive for our exchange files. So in a real world scenario, we would want to move those files off of the C drive. So we have another drive that we can move them to. In this case, we're going to move the storage group files. So if we select the storage group, you'll notice there's an option here, move storage group path, or we can right click the storage group and select move storage group path. And it opens up the wizard. So here again we see that that path is under the C drive. If we select browse and we scroll down here we see we have another drive we can use. We're going to move these files over to the T drive. And once we're done we select move. We get a warning that says that our databases in the storage group must be temporarily dismounted. So we say yes to continue. and we see it completed but with a warning about being unable to mount the database. And you can see that the mailbox database is dismounted. You can see that the icon has a little down arrow in a gray circle. If we select the database and over here we select mount database, we can see that it completed successfully and the icon changes back to a normal icon. So I hope you found this helpful and we'll see you in the next lesson.